Today we're going to be testing my self-installed fire alarm system that protects my garage and is a nice hobby. On the north side of the garage we have a Wheelock ZNS horn strobe and in the front of the garage we have a Wheelock or I think this one's branded by Siemens ZRS strobe only. And then going down we have a Pyrotronics MS Pull Station. I forget the whole model, but we'll look at that when we open it up. And as you can see, this system is mocking the fire alarm system that was in one of the older schools that I went to. I did a ton of fire drills on this system, and I probably got to pull the fire alarm in that school about 10 times. So I think that was really fun. The brightness on both of the alarm strobes is 15 candela which is pretty much the lowest setting and the setting it's most commonly on and the alarm is going to be coded to code 3 or temporal 3 so let's go ahead and pull it The strobes are in sync. So we can go ahead and reset this pull station. It takes a hex wrench. And we'll open it up all the way to see the model. This is a Powertronics MS-501 manual fire alarm pull station. It's double action. You just push it in here and then pull it down like that. And then to close it back up, you just tighten it back up with the hex wrench. This panel has a nice feature where if you silence the alarm and let's say the fire started again and you needed to unsilence the alarm, you don't have to pull another pull station. You can just press the alarm silence button once again. And that sets off all the alarms again. And we can go ahead and reset the panel. I'd also like to test the heat detector that I have placed up here in the attic of the garage. However, I do not have any heat source with me, so we're going to test out one of the panel's features where we can manually activate it from the panel. So here at the panel, we're going to go ahead and go into our main menu here, scroll down to test, select it, and then scroll down to test fire, select it, and then you just pick the device that you want tested. So this is device 5, and as you can see it says add a heat, and then select it, and then hit start, and it will test it from the panel. As we can see up here, the red light on the heat detector is flashing, which means that it's activated and it's working. and we can reset the panel. All right, everybody, thank you for watching this system test. I'm trying to think of the alarms that I should put up for the next test, and I have been getting a lot of requests for simplex, and I think next test, we're gonna do simplex. So, look forward to that. Have a great day, everybody.